You know what just hit me like a bag of bricks? Yaiko didn't die immediately. He took a kunai to the stomach. He could have survived for like an hour. But after Yaiko stabs himself with Nagato's kunai, Nagato freaks out and summons the ghetto statue and kills all of the Ambu and Hinrei Ninju made him do it. But if Nagato was able to summon the ghetto statue, then he was most definitely able to summon the King of Hell. And the King of Hell has the ability to heal anybody placed inside of its mouth. So if Nagato was truly afraid that Yaiko was about to die, he could have just thrown him in the King of Hell's mouth. And it's not like Hanzo or Donzo knew what the King of Hell was. So like, while Yaiko's chilling in the mouth, getting all healed and such, he can be like, oh yeah, Yaiko's dead, and then boom, Conan's released. Or, 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 he could have done the King of Hell and then summoned the Ghetto Statue and basically done the same thing he did after he freaked out about Yaiko dying. Except Yaiko wouldn't have died and Conan would have been released because he would have killed everybody who took Conan.